Welcome to Jumadism Total Nourishan. And we're back for a little um, a little build indeed. We will be uh, actually retrofitting the old Volvo. That's exactly what we're going to do. We'll be retrofitting the old Volvo to a kind of newer construction. Um, it's very much outdated. So uh, that's why we kind of want to, you know, spice it up a little bit and um, incorporate some new tech into it because it's uh, as said quite outdated indeed now Gary's mod uh, crashes on launch but that's normal we'll just launch it again <laughs> Indeed, uh, we should have some. Oh, God damn it! What the fuck is this annoying shit? Remove, away. Okay, let's see here. We need some background music. I forgot about that. Let's have this playlist. That sounds like a nice background beat. Oh fucking hell! Don't crash on me again, G mod. Great. Gary's mod crashed again. Third time. Okay. Oh my god, I think maybe. Maybe it won't crash. Amazing. It didn't crash. So we need to select a nice map. And I can indeed show you the screen now, because why not? And we need a nice... Uh, mm, 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 car map. I think uh, the map... We haven't reviewed that yet, we will review it soonish. If I can just find it. It's something called uh, there's maybe ah it's not like important we can just take uh, oh there is another map which I haven't played in a long while I want to see how it looks like this code old map so uh, indeed we're waiting for loading. Oh no. Fuck off. Of course, Garry's mod crashed again. What's up with the new uh, Gmod update? Is it broke or something? Okay, there we go. Interesting indeed. Script errors, starting good. didn't crash yet. That's a good sign. Come on. Maybe the grain crashed again. No, maybe not. Do something game. Oh god. It started. Amazing. I was starting to give up hope again. <laughs> give up hope. Give up hope. This is the good old Bayaramas uh, or something. It looks like a uh, landscape. It's a nice rally map. Because uh, I want to upgrade the old Volvo to a modern rally car. Or not modern, just a rally car. 
All right, where is it? Duplicator, ACF cars. Eight hundred revolvers. Shut up. Um. Uh. Maybe. Oh no. We'll just uh, spawn the quite proper one. Or maybe, no, not that one. It actually might be. Mm -hmm. Interesting. They're automatic. I just want to check what version this is. He seems to be a pretty legit person, but I think we're going to go with a. Uh, ah, that's two. We're going with a. Damn it, the regular petrol version. Racing black or whatever. Might build it in here. All right. All right. So we're gonna. We're going to do some modifications here. It has back wheel drive only. And I think we're gonna keep it. Maybe we'll add four wheel drive. Not sure. We will, in any case, we're going to replace this entire. All the uh, ships. Oh no. I didn't want to remove that one. There we go. And that's what we're gonna remove. That one too. What the f... That's annoying. Let's build it on top of here instead. Alright. Smart remover isn't helping me being more smart, it seems. Smart snap isn't working still for some good reason, which is very annoying. Now let's see here.
all sockets to them. Check constraint info. Good. Oh lords. That's a block. Because as you might have guessed, we are going to add the same type of suspension in the back. Oops. It will not be easy without Smart Snap. I've really gotten a little bit dependent on that add-on to build. So I don't know why it doesn't work, but well, it doesn't for me and a lot of other people. So yeah, that's as it is. It's not going to be like the most insane precision build anyways, so I mean, doesn't matter so much. Speed gearbox. Yeah, well, again, yeah, that's probably good. I 
just wanna consult the uh, what kind of setup do we have? We have a double cross pattern. I th I like this suspension a lot. So we're gonna do that again. Rigid. Now this will be very... Talk about approximating. The bone, bringing the old Volvo back to life, you see? That is correct, that is correct. Welcome to the stream, by the way. And uh, if anyone will complain that this build causes a lot of lag, uh, it, maybe it does. <laughs> oh wait, that segment, I didn't want that one. Okay, now we begin again. Huh, oh well. I want to have a little modern, uh, I want to bring some modern technology to the Volvo because fact is the uh, old Volvo is still pretty fun to drive which honestly is the most important part when building an ACF car, the who cares about performance if it isn't fun to drive, it's a game. So. Uh, because it's still one of my more fun builds to drive. I want to have it back to life, indeed. Now is the question. Uh, I guess we'll spawn this other version here just to so I can salt it a little bit. Oh yeah. We had a triangle pattern there, which makes a lot more sense. You know what? We'll just quick fix this and hope for the best. <laughs> so this is definitely not how to do stuff. If you want to be proper. But uh, I'm not known for being proper. Live 
accesses. Is this going to be an off-road mod? Uh, it is going to be an off-road mod. Uh, that's also why we're on this map. Um, I want to add some more rally capability to the Volvo because um, the Volvo feels a lot like a proper rally car. Um, I didn't really make it a proper rally car, but I feel it uh, should be a proper rally car. Now I'm already lost. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yes. And of course, I was meant to kind of have them at the same spot. To not have them twist around. Whoops. And then we bring it back there again. That's how we should have made the first one. Oh well. Airplane. Alright. There we go. I mean, I'm not even sure I built the Volvo with Smart Snap. So I don't know why I miss it so much. I mean, it's not like I need Smart Snap to build, it's just that I kind of used it so much the last years, so I feel a little bit naked without it. <laughs> the bone is not going to be surprised if it stands and drives crooked. <laughs> uh, not me either. <laughs> not me either. Uh, it's also going to be pink, just so you know. I've already decided that. Fucking hell, this map! <laughs> Lords! Uh, it will be crooked as hell, oh my god. I mean, just the way we attach the wheels. Precision? Pah! What's that? Yeah, that's great. I think, anyways, that I really need to have another car that's ish decent uh, for the next rally I participate in. I did unfortunately miss the last Automat rally, but uh, the previous ones was fun, so I would indeed like to uh, join the uh, coming ones. And I hope there will be coming ones, but uh, yes, if I'm able, I will join him. I mean, it's not going to be very precise, but at least we can ish try. Doesn't hurt. I mean, try and try, but you know. We want the result to be decent, or I, I like. We want it to be a decent racing car. Retaining that uh, fun driving feeling that the, the Volvo uh, did always have. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Let's bring out... Oh, we want it a little bit more. Oh well. I think we didn't place the axis exactly in the center. Oh well. Can't be that important, can't it? <laughs> it's quite important, but whatever. <laughs> Let's just slap this thing together. So. What's Savav? Cloud options. Oh. 
the cloud mod. I see. Let's turn it off. Hmm. The double wishbone sus double wishbone suspension would be better. I'm sure you're right, but uh, I don't know what the wishbone suspension is. Neither do I know what the double wishbone suspension is. Um, yes. And here we go. Snap that on there. Ball socket center. Did that one. Great. What could go wrong? About that we should save soon. Because a lot of things can go wrong. Okay, weight check number one, 150, 100. That's also 150. Oh well, that's probably fine, maybe. We'll notice, we will notice. Okay, so now we need some wiring. I think we'll just use setang. Oh. And maybe... Should we make everyone happy and... Uh, install, like... Steering wheel and shit. We might as well, because the steering wheel we have installed... Um, does, to be honest, uh, use a uh, prop of a steering wheel that's accessed to the base plate and is moved by a thruster. And, uh, yes. <laughs> Need say no more. Uh, some people think that is a little too uh, undecent. Indeed they do. Oh, it's upside down. I don't... I'm not sure I even used this before, like, in a real build. I don't... Re I don't even remember who... Uh, um, forced it on me, gave it to me. <laughs> I think it... Uh, was after seeing my steering wheel solution for the Volvo. Um, I was given this. I think we should weld it, but I'm not sure. Anyways. Oh lords, that's uh, so broke. Um, oh my, that's even more complicated. Using the thrusters to move them. Yeah, it's more complicated, but that's just because I, you know, I didn't have E2. I didn't use E2 for anything back when I made it. I could use a E2 gear shifter. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe that would be better. But I never used one, and uh, it feels like cheating. A Volvo should have a uh, manual. Uh, <laughs> a, a real Volvo has manual um, gearbox and uh, also no servo. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, the... Uh, da -da 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 -da.
Where is my setang? There, setang steering. I think it's this one. Or I mean whatever, it's fine. Let's use it. Slaver! Ooh. Now, uh, let's just check in this angle which it will be. If we do like this, just for consistency sake. If we take the slaver, I think it is Y. That should be free. But we'll see. Yes, it is. Uh, that's the proper setting, at least for this angle. No, I mean actual shifter. Oh, you mean that thing that kind of looks like you're shifting gears? Yeah, I mean. Sure. I don't. Do I have one? I might actually have one. I never used one though. Um, considering that we already put in the. Let's see here. We have a shell ejector. That's a really cool shell ejector. Never used it really, but it's cool. Recursive armor, probably. Maybe another time. All right, and uh, let's throw in some parts. Man, it was kind of a while ago I set up this. Have I even saved all I need in, in like... Let's use the unnecessary big prop for the... Uh, because everyone hates it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use for the... Very nice. And we can see it properly. Ooh. Hmm. Well, maybe we can put it in. I'm afraid of tabbing out of Garry's mod, but I can save. So if you send it on Discord, I can. S Discord isn't online now, but I could start it and. Uh, Official bot boy too. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> are you are you a real person? <laughs> Anyways, constant value. Let's see here. Number symbol. Let's tab. No. Number one. This is a flaw of this. Uh, yeah, I can't use this. Um, overlay. No, this like menu because I can't see the numbers. It's kind of annoying. I like the dark theme though, so it would be even better if they just fix that, but I mean... I generally like it, but... You know, small stuff like that is a little bit annoying. It's oh god, sorry. Official bat boy. <laughs> <coughs> I will blame the font. <laughs> welcome anyways, welcome indeed. Uh, what was I thinking about? I'm not sure. Um, yes, we need gates, gates. Because we're going to make this kind of uh, advanced uh, gear setup. <clears throat> and what we're making we are making the uh, we are making this one the uh, Volvo we're making but we're making it in a new version so we're making a rally-ish version the old version had uh, kind of old stuff and the new version will have like new technology because I built this 2015 I think first time it was my first proper ECF vehicle. Um, 
and I actually built it so that I would be able to participate on a server that uh, a YouTuber that doesn't make much uh, right now from Gary's Mod. Uh, he was called Jack Pudi and he had this kind of server and they had kind of uh, strict rules. You had to have kind of a car based on some certain criteria, like it had to be from a real car and yeah, a lot of criteria. And if you had those criteria active, you could join the server. <clears throat> so I made this Volvo 940 to join that server. <clears throat> but it's kind of out, it's kind of outdated. Unfortunately, it's still kind of one of my most fun cars to drive. I haven't built a lot, but it's pretty fun to drive this one. So I want to make it a little, a little upgraded version. Now let's see here. Multiply. Ooh. We need one gate for multiply for driving forward. I think we need a separate gate for multiplying for driving backwards. And we need a... Maybe a multiply gate for... Let's see here. We'll want to set the gear to... Yeah, we'll need to configure the... Let's see here. We we'll need to upgrade this constant value. Hmm. Let's see here. Multibility. It's gear six, whatever. Well, we'll just have it main setting. Uh, so we'll have to keep count on what gear we're on. So gear six. There we go. Let's see if I remember my smart setup. Anyways, we're gonna wire up this one too. A, and because I selected this stupid model, I have a hard time <coughs> remembering. <laughs> Which one is the uh, advanced pole controller? <laughs> Chassis, this one. And... Uh, now let's see here. Throttle, this is throttle. Which is... No, that's not throttle, never mind. We actually need an extra gate for the throttle. We need the add gate. And just put it there. Throttle, and it's going to be, uh, I mean, it can be add, it can only be 100% anyways. 100, 100. B will be, oh, A, no, W, no, Lords. Now let's see here. S. And this will be forward W. So I think we should set, we can set brake on, uh, we'll just select brake on space, clutch on space, I'll do the same for Break on space, clutch on space. We probably have some weld latch brakes for a shift or something. Or probably, yeah, let's have them all the same button. 
Well, latch brakes are fun to use. They're not good, but they're more fun. Now let's see the throttling thing. Um, so I wonder if it will override. Probably not. Okay, so when we hold S, we want to... When we hold S, we want this one to activate by timing, um, yeah, this one times six, but this is actually a value of 100, which means, okay, now we have some weird math here. If we're going to have gear six, we need to have a percent of that, so. Where is it? Constant value. Where are you? There. That means zero point zero six. Hmm. We can't see that screen really. That's a bit disturbing. Oh well. Oh, might as well wire up this thing. RPM, kilometers per hour, whoops. Gear. A goes to A, D goes to D, OD goes to OD, I guess. Steer? What do you mean, steer? Hmm. So we'll set gear to this one. If a quick S, it should be backwards. Yeah, let's just test it out and see what's happening. Might as well save it too. There we go. It's not on. All right. Nice. Okay. up some gear ups. Steering is backwards, but it does work, I think. Oops. Let's just check out this. Oh, no, 
Jones. Oh, sad, sad suspension. This car is so. Uh, Slightly wonky. What? Steering really gets me. It has six gears, I believe. So not that many, but should be enough. In any case, it seems that the wheels are a little bit weak in the front there. Question is we begin with fixing that. It's stiff as a rock indeed. We'll need to calibrate the suspension quite a bit. Okay, so A goes to D and D goes to A. So that's that fixed. I also suspect that we probably need to see if this is disabled collisions, disabled. Oh, disabled collisions. Okay, good. Not sure if it's you no know, collided with the chassis or not. Should be, but you never know. All right, so ball socket slaver. Oh, we have it on 0 0.05, so we want it on s uh, point zero 0.05. For some reason it seems that giving it too much like room can damage it make it less stable. Huh. The gear isn't working though. Gear doesn't seem to be working. I only have six speed shifters for a right hand drive. Oh, you mean uh, automatic shifters or standard gearbox, perhaps? Oh, that's why. Value. I wired it all wrong. The first core 
Oh yeah, manual. The first gear is in the place of the sick. Interesting. So you have to gear up all all the while to get the lowest gear. Or do you mean that backwards gear is the last one? I usually have the backwards gear the last one, but Okay, nice. Now my backwards is working. <laughs> the gear display doesn't really get it though, but that doesn't matter. Damn, front wheels are stiff. It's like real racing steering. Super stiff. We want we want soft suspension though. That's what we like. But uh, this uh, this suspension is pretty uh, like inefficient since it requires a bit of weight. Do send the pics in the Discord, indeed. Spam it. <laughs> when you sit on the left, oh you oh you mean that one. Okay, okay, that shifter. Now I'm now I'm getting you. Yes, the lever. I, I understand. Lifting up normally. I I've seen uh, such uh, constructions before. Okay, so one thing we need to do that is that's now is this value one hundred Okay, so how do we do this the smartest mathematical way? I want this to be 1 if it's not 6. Um, could do a smarter addition thing. But, you know, having as little change as possible from it now. That would be... Uh, maybe I could set like, up, up some OR uh, function value plus multiply That's some weird math if this oh yeah maybe yeah that's cool an equal okay an equal and an <laughs> Uh, the, the <clears throat> this is real stupid, but we're going to do it anyways. There we go. And we're going to have a compare. Compare addition equal. There we go. And A is equal to this one. That's good. And this one is this one. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is total. This is shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you know, I have a real love-hate relationship with my um, super creative solutions. There we go. I'm gonna have weld latch brakes. Weld latch brakes are uh, despicable, but they're so much fun. Oh my god, they are so much fun. All right. Let's also do a quick um, weight thing. 
That's your physical, no, just multi-parent, remove constraint, set weight, disable stuff, no constraint, disable collection, set weight. Shark! Well, welcome to the stream, Shark, and Yosef4588, four, five, uh, four, I think it was, games. Welcome as a follower. I'm glad you joined. I didn't know you uh, you knew about Gary's mod, though, Shark. And if you wonder well, who Shark is, Shark is a um, very prominent person in the Battlefield 2 community, uh, especially of the Lost Soldiers uh, server. We had a pretty grand tank battle the other day, kind of recently. Oh, I know what I'm going to. Yes, I have I have a horrible, wonderful plan for the. Uh, for the thing. Eh, I don't know. I mean, I think this build is so old, so I assume I forgot to kind of, you know, decrease the weight on stuff before parenting everything together. So it probably carries around some extra hundreds of kilos uh, of dead weight. So that's what I'm removing now by setting set weight. And I hope I don't have to remove the parent first. I hope this will just override this. Anyways, we're going to parent it. What's that? Let's parent it to this one. Great. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Oh man. I don't believe that. It has to be fake. <laughs> okay, you got me. You got me for a sec. Ah. Someday, some, someday we might get a donation for that, but uh, it it would pop up on the uh, stream screen. I just realized. In any case, where where were I? Um, yes, where were I indeed? Wait. We, we want to check the, do a little weight check on this thing. Okay, these are set there. Oh lords, this is large. Ugh. Okay, how heavy is, it's only 250, are you kidding me? That's too light. Maybe not, why not? 250, why not? 120. All right, that's why the suspension is so stiff. If we set this to like 99, there we go. Or actually to like 60. It should be real soft. Let's set the wheels to 60 and see what happens. <laughs> well, I do, I do, uh, I'm, I am glad you do enjoy the stream, Yusef. It's okay. Let's just pop this down and see what happens. And I don't really trust Garry's mod right now since the game crashed four times when trying to start the stream. That's much softer. Okay. Let's see if the... Uh... Yes. 
it seems that our gear setup does work. My <laughs> my creative math math uh, gave some results. Oh no. Like we not we might actually need four wheel drive uh, to uh, be able to control this thing. Oh lords. But it would be not true to uh, the original Volvo either. Oh, I already forgot what I was supposed to do with that um, thing. The exhaust pipe. We want to, you know, this build is so old, so I don't really know. It might be welded on. Let's see if it's, no, it's not welded. In that, we will go to the multi amparent tool, unparent it, and we're now going to parent it to. Yes, the suspension, it's gonna flop around. Excellent. <clears throat> oh, right, fist prop materials. Um, uh, this. Fist prop material keep higher. I don't was it underscore under? Let's just check. If this now has super Oh gravity. Do you guys like my tool gun, by the way? Oh well. Gravity was it. It's physically impossible to drop this with inertia. I could turn off the tool. Yeah, it looks like Jeep tire. Okay, one burden. The steering wheel isn't working, I just realized. Much better grip now. It's even like usable. I did forgot Jeep tire, that's what that's why. Oh no. I mean it's not performing as car S or something, but uh, it has a weaker engine. Which is good, because then it's more likely I'll be able to control it. We do need to decrease the angle a little bit of steering. It just adds too much slide to it this way. How's that? Now that's an actual lap. <laughs> yeah man, that's an actual lap. Can we do like burnouts with this thing? I mean, it's dust, but. Uh. All right. We also got to install some like decorative uh, slabs inside of there so we won't see them poking out and looking all terrible. Uh, S props uh, plates. <laughs> Too high. Oh, this is the same height. Might hide it though. If we just do. 
No collide. Uh, <clears throat> it's invisible. Fantastic. Now we're going to put a nice material on it. <laughs> Why? Carbon fiber, of course. No. Something else. <laughs> of course. A real Volvo has a, is rusty under and inside. We're gonna make this Volvo a little bit more realistic. That's beautiful. Beautiful rust. That's how we like it. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'll just move them manually. Do a barrel roll <laughs> with this car. It's probably easy. We just need to speed up a little bit. When we take it out uh, for the next lap, we will try and do a barrel roll. We do have pretty strong brakes, so it's probably not very hard. Anyways. Or is that multi-parent? Oh lord, it sticks up a little bit in the inside. Oh, that's the stuff you have to take, I guess. Hmm. Looks like uh, armrests. <laughs> Unintentional. All right, steer. Maybe it's like, uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, now I remember. Isn't it like advanced and stuff? Isn't it like the angle? No. Um. Okay, I'm lost. Oh no. I can't remember. What does the steer go to? Let's just see if it's active. No, it's not. It should be some kind of output. Probably. Oh, let's check that later. We might want a speedometer on here. Let's slap it down on the floor there like everything else. to go into the E2 too. So we want to have the angle but maybe turn angle interval slave blah 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 I think it's Probably what we want. Oh no. Upload and exit. And strap some nice skins on those parts in there. So we're in they're in the team. 
and nice. And we want it white and shiny. To stand out too much. Okay, barrel roll, roll test activate. <laughs> Let's see if it even works first. <clears throat> say the rear axle axis is uh, completely stable but uh, it wasn't on the original Volvo either this is probably how to do a barrel roll no I love how the gearbox no how the uh, exhaust pipe is, pipe is kind of flopping around a little bit beautiful that's exactly the effect I wanted to have. And people will ask me, what type of advanced expression 2 did you have to use uh, to make it flop around like that? And I'll say, no, it's not E2. It's just, uh, uh, it's just uh, <laughs> a cheap crappy solution. Okay, is this the barrel? No. Maybe we just need speeds to do barrel roll, probably. And I do think we need a four-wheel drive, lords. Ugh. We're spinning out of control. <laughs> oh. It's beautifully hard to control this thing. Oh no. 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 Yeah, we'll need to add some four wheel drive to this thing. <clears throat> no question about it. So medium is overkill, but we can't just change it now. Now let's see here, ACF menu. Well, I guess that counts as a barrel roll, counts. <laughs> Indeed, maybe. I think we have to put in some more Barrel efforts. Six speed in line medium. Six speed in line medium. Gear one, two. Okay. That's probably a better setup than we have now. The final drive is positive. Yeah. So if the final drive is you know, kind of the stock setup, it probably be fine. Differential medium. Okay, differential uh, medium and it's 0 0.86. 0 0.86. This has that part pointing upwards, which means we want that part pointing downwards for this side. Oh no.
I wonder if this will snap out or not. Or no. Let me rephrase that. I wonder how often this will snap out. Okay, well that thing. Oh. These are connected nicely. Fantastic. If you're going to rally, you might want shorter gears. I might want shorter gears indeed. I probably... I'm kind of thinking that I'll just put the final drive down a little good bit and that will kind of fix the problem for me. But... Uh, oh yes, rust. Beautiful. Let's remove that pesky color. Beautiful. We we'll just want to test it out, kind of. We might also want to... Uh, you know... Like... The... Drive might be... A little softer with a little heavier wheels, to be honest. So let's take those wheels and grab them back to 15,000. Okay, not quite. How about 140 for all wheels? Four wheel monster. Oh. And before we mess some weird thing up, we might also wire up clutch to the kind of general braking button brake where are you oh space i mean as well as brake because good measure all right let's hear this thing clutter my folders as usual Don't tell me that made the gears harder. It shouldn't work like that. Uh. I mean, they're not connected, so oh well. We can fix <laughs> fix the problem by just adding a heavier motor. Now, this map is funny, so I don't see shit on the speed display. Oh lords. We need softer steering. Well, there we have your barrel roll, shark. We made a barrel roll. Oh. We also seriously messed something up. That's interesting. How, how did this even happen? Okay, doesn't matter, it's broken. That's why we save stuff. <laughs> no suspension travel that. Travel. <clears throat> no. Okay, the suspension is a little bit shit. Yes. <laughs> I know. Uh, but... Whew. I wonder though. Let's set <laughs> let's set the vehicle weight of 700 temporarily. A very nice suspension. It didn't do much of a difference. The back wheel suspension, but they can't be too soft either. You know, the only the only reason I'm having my back wheel suspension it's because the old Volvo was fun to drive with, so I kind of thought that maybe uh, my weird suspension is part of the deal. My fixed axle rope suspension. Not sure. But 
maybe also the setup of the front suspension might be a little bit more stiff just because of the difference ports I mean I don't know how fast this goes, goes. probably not very fast fourth gear we're still speeding up though Okay. Now we're kind of top speed, I guess. 5000. It seems that the fifth gear isn't doing much, but we really need another map to check that. What you can see is that uh, one thing that's not as promised is of course the color of the car. <laughs> we will fix that. <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe this color. No, that's too purple. It has to be pink. But I don't want screamy pink. I want a little bit more subtile pink. The question is if we're going, that's almost wine wed. Wine wed. Wine red, <laughs> I mean. Maybe like this light pink color. And that's too boring. Somewhere around there. That's probably the color I'm looking for. Beautiful. We need to adjust material, holy shit. Okay, there we go. Color. Fantastic. <clears throat> Starting to look quite decent. Don't you think? Chat agrees. There we go. I have to be careful of not uh, hitting the wrong parts. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Oh. Um. No. 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 Chrome. Oh, that's why. Paint. Oh god damn it. Just hell give me a lords can I get normal can I get normal debug white oh thank you finally um, this chassis isn't very exquisite for sure it's not but uh, I don't want to remake it right now, so this is the chassis we have, indeed. I mean the body. I try to talk about it all the time. Very nice. <clears throat> I'm kind of curious though. <clears throat> uh, oh, it's that heavy? One and a half ton. Let's set the wheels to original weight. Sixty sixty. Maybe we can have the body at 350. It's probably not a good way to do it. But where does the weight come from? If there's some forgotten part here. You never know. You might have forgotten something. I 
Oh, by the way, let's just uh, multi unparent the roof. And let's make a physical parent. Client side. I kind of want it to be, you know, maybe it can land on its roof then. It would be kind of cool if it could. Let's check out. Let's check that out. Oh, well, that doesn't work. In that case, we may turn it into a regular parenting. Oh, that's an interesting name. Lords. This suspension is stiff. We might have to improve the suspension after all. Like, uh, the front side suspension is brutal. Anyways. Let's try out the movability. Nice. I already like it better with a nice new corner. <laughs> oh yeah. Bam. It feels like I'm driving super fast, but I'm not very sure we're driving very fast. Doesn't matter though. If we had softer suspension, I think this could be a good driving experience. Oh, the steering wheel doesn't work still. Well, it does decent lap, I must say. <laughs> like the glare of the... <laughs> you can see the like shine from the... <clears throat> mirrors. And Gary's mod isn't the good that it displays that very well. Now, backwards gear. Bad idea. Nice. Oh. And before we forget that, um, I should tab out from the game and see if it crashes or not. I'll fire up the Discord. And we can get maybe that code, I believe we might have. Maybe. We'll see. Discord takes like ages to load. Oh! It, we, we got a picture of suspension instead. Oh well. There we have it. Gear shifter. I'll download it. Save file in the, 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 the desktop Garry's mod shortcut data advanced duplicator that's wrong expression 2 ba bam now it's online cool start up the game again there we have it resume game we can now go to wire That was almost worryingly fast. Click the update button. And we now have... Gear shifter. Amazing. Okay. 
Let's just slap this thing right in there. I'll just weld it here. Maybe I can parent it. I probably can. But you never know with our old stuff. Gear. I guess we'll set it on current gear. That's decently simple. This thing, however. AD. Like body. What's that supposed to be? Can I like... Uh, I don't know. It has to be this one. <clears throat> so A, D, that's wrong though. So let's remove steer. But then it does nothing. So if body, oh, if we, if we set body to this one, will it then turn? Let's check out that and our gear shifter from uh, uh, Debone. Uh, stop. Oh, that doesn't work. The gear shifter does indeed work. You see it beautiful? I'm clicking I'm clicking W and I'm clicking S and it changes automatically. Beautiful. Fantastic. I assume body goes to this one. But steering. Type did not match. Probably something simple. Or it might be I have a incompatible setup for the ship. It'd be true. Oh it might be possible now. Dear. Hmm. It has to be a value between. So it's if the uh, output has kind of an angular output, I guess. Can't I just have it on? <laughs> if I set it to current gear. It will change according to values between 1 and 0, I guess. Yes, it will. <laughs> That's very stupid. I think we have to do a horrible solution for that one. Uh, so let's see here. Um, yeah, there might be a better setup, but I'm just going to do the. I'm just uh, going to do the. The uh, ugly coding setup. 
Maybe we could set up some, but I never played around much with angles in uh, this uh, game, so. But perhaps angle. Ooh. Oh well. Instead of playing around with that, I don't think it will work. And if it will work, it will take hours to set up. So we'll just uh, we'll just make our own little setup. So we're gonna have a little array just for the steering wheel. I'm gonna have it in two modes. Or first, I'm going just to check if see if I have another steering wheel running around here. I might have that. No, we don't have that. Then we're going to explore the different values we can set. We're going to have a value of one. Just to test it, we're going to set Damn it, where is my wiring tool? We're gonna set that. Okay. So if we then have a, we have the button have the value of, no, like, like negative one. Then it turns the other direction, doesn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. Then we know what we're dealing with. Back to the drawing table. set this up before but for the world of me I can't I can't kind of remember because it might be like different inputs like if we have body off now oh, everything is off let's just make a little I'm just gonna make a little test here come on on freeze thank you not working good set it to this one we can't if a goes to this one and D goes to this one only that it won't do anything in that case can we just set it to go to itself Oh, we can't. S A S D. So that's weird. So there is an input. Can I just set like? So if I set steer to the input, well, that's annoying. Oh. Silent. What about this now? Why <laughs> axis? Oh no. No, imagine if we set up this to be mouse steered. That's a horrible idea. Oh 
Oh no. Yeah, that might be something. Maybe not today. But we could potentially set it up to be a, a mouse steered um, car. That's a very bad idea. We shall do it. We, we have to do it now. Well, not now, maybe. So we're just gonna set up this temporary little thing here. With uh, add and uh, no multiply it so well add for that one and two multiply gates there we go two multiply gates and uh, can go to the constant value and we'll just add a negative one number slap it on there So I think positive is A, maybe? Wait, what? Hmm. Wire tool. Okay, so this is A. And that's probably positive. And this is B. It's probably negative. And then we just set steer to that one. Beautiful. We now have a working steering wheel. Quick math. We'll just uh, select our rusty topic and totally slap on some of that. Oh, look. We can fix that part by making it rusty. I want the instrument panel like that too, though. Oh no, this is the... Oh, oh well. Maybe. No, this is like... Oh. If we freeze it bit by bit, oh. we'll freeze the parts like that. And I think we'll be able to use this now. However, um, because the front suspension is a little too rigid, we'll use this uh, opportunity. Oh no, we can't do that without removing the wheels. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> we might need to just switch out the suspension completely. It's not very fast. Oh no. Forty kilometers per hour. It's not the most brutal racing car ever, is it? It's not.
Oh lords. Car still holds together. Well, that's one good thing. While it is slow, it's pretty nice to drive around. So I think... I mean, this this suspension is stiff. We could make like a soft suspension version of it. We might get some problems doing that though. Oh. Oh no, <laughs> could it make that jump? I am pretty happy with the result though. <laughs> Maybe no one else is, but... Uh... Oh. oh lords. However, the car is, uh, it's nice and simple, you know. So we do have some nice uh, control over it. For some reason, when I remove that block there, we still have kind of a blocking thing there. say this is a functioning rally car. We sure can make some improvements. This is like the stiff uh, suspension version and I probably want to do like a real soft suspension version of it. But like generally, I mean it's not very fast we could make it a bigger engine or something. But I must say I kind of like it. So uh, we're gonna save that as a Volvo 940 um, we call it the uh, Nuevo Volvo 940 Rally pink or all of them will be pink maybe there we go now I have a Volvo 940 you know what we should uh, disconnect from this map uh, we're gonna jump in quickly into uh, car test or is it? Damn it. I don't remember the name of it. York Valley. Da, 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 da. Roleplay? No. It's one of these. Lava bath, no, no, no. Test track, isn't it that? Let's check it. I'm not too sure to be honest. We'll notice. Hmm. 
Oh no, it's the train map. Okay. The feeling when you're looking for a special map. Yes. Just the old construct. Uh, is it that one? Nah. But that's also a decent map though. Well, why not? We'll find it some other time. Let's just jump into f good old GM Fork and we'll try it out on some regular ro lo lo loads, roads. Indeed. Loading resources is always fun, is it not? And now we're there. Almost. Oh, by the way, we'll have to take a picture of the Nuevo, of the Nuevo Volvo 940. We need a better photo location though. Oh no, now I can see that my... <laughs> there look like lights. We have real uneven power. Oh no, there we have another barrel roll. Oh no, did it break? I don't think it broke. I think this is the perfect photo location. I really feel that the uh, car is in its right element, right here. Beautiful. Let's take it out for a little test drive. Oh 
Oh, probably. Let's see if we can get... No, we can't. This uh, uneven, like gas pedal. That's because the suspension. The old car had the problem, so I'm glad it hasn't been fixed. Yeah. I wonder if we could set up some kind of gradual setting. So 40 kilometers per hour seems to be like what we get. Which is not very impressive at all. But, uh, well, as I said, <laughs> I wouldn't expect this uh, car to be impressive. The 60. You know, I think it does... Uh, it does considerably worse than the uh, original. Like the original build I made. So, one thing we need to fix to come to terms with this problem that would be to have a, a completely even suspension that doesn't make the driving axles uh, wobble back and, th and forth slightly eating some of the power to friction um, we also would like to reduce weight as much as possible. Doing that might fix it. It does have a nice road fe feeling though. I think that will be that for this time, so we'll uh, we'll jump out of uh, this little stream here, making the <laughs> Volvo great again, or something. So, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'll be seeing you next time. Indeed. Look, let's make something fancy. There we go. Fantastic. I can stand here and look competent. Okay, not quite. Any case, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, this little stream and the stream export as well. And I'll see you next time. This is Jimodism, Total Nerdy Channel, officially. Signing out. Bye.